Hello everyone, this is Gadget Trish here to address GQ on their tribute to Michael Jackson and their ridiculous title of When Michael Was Cool. Um, seriously, I didn't get the memo that Michael wasn't cool. Michael with the afro is cool. Of course, the realer Michael is cool. There isn't a time period when Michael wasn't doing something to let you know that he's cool, that he's relevant. I don't appreciate the title at all. And I kind of regret wasting my five, six dollars on this issue because they also said there's rare photos. Mm, they weren't that special. The article was okay, went into some history about the family, you know, where they came from as, you know, where Catherine came from rather. And some, of course, history about Michael. But when you have a title like that and that alone, it doesn't matter what's inside. You pretty much gave a backhanded compliment and I just thought it was in poor taste. The man's not even buried yet. That's September 3rd. You know, can the media just hold off this uh, comments for a few more days? Um, but if you're really looking for a tribute edition, um, his birthday's tomorrow. Black woman did a nice, uh, feature on Michael. Uh, don't know, uh, well, yeah, well, anyway, I don't know what month that's from. Uh, the source, they're August 2009. They did a wonderful tribute to Michael Jackson. Okay. Invincible. Positive title. And uh, Ebony did another tribute to Michael, Michael I Icon, and this is their September 2009 issue. These are tributes worth picking up. These are positive tributes. Um, GQ, I personally wouldn't waste the money. If I can get a re refund, I would. Um, also, if you're looking for hardcover tributes, um, I would suggest Life and People Magazine. Uh, they both are available on Amazon.com for less than $15, hard copies, uh, hard covers. I honestly can't remember which one. One of them kind of had a mm, section of the book where they were pretty much talking about Michael's strange periods and um, didn't really particularly care for it. But overall, I appreciate the pictures. For the most part, it was positive. I would pick it up if you're a hardcore fan, something worth buying. And um, to GQ Magazine or anyone who's about to buy the issue because Michael's in it, unless you already read the magazine on a regular, don't waste your money. And on that note, I'm out. Do you remember? If I could just get off this table without knocking this set over. Uh.